Hey guys, it's civil engineering tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw front elevation of a multi-story building. I prepared this video on request of some of my viewers. So if you haven't subscribed the channel, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss new updates. So let's start the drawing. So this is the ground floor plan. This is first floor plan and this is second floor plan. This is the column as there is no walls. So you can see this column in front elevation. So first I'm going to draw a line. L enter. Specify first point here and second point here. Now give offset. Give offset distance 2 feet and 6 inch. Select object and click. Now this is the ground level. This is plinth level. So mark this as ground level. GL ground level now come to the plan so first I'm going to draw this wall this wall and this wall so take Excel Excel means construction line press B for vertical now click here click here click here and click here okay now I'm going to draw the plane projection so give offset give offset distance 6 inch Select this line, click here, select this line and click here. Now trim the extra lines. Trim this. Now trim these lines. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the roof slab. So give offset. Give offset distance 10 feet and 6 inch. Select this line and click. Now draw the roof slab thickness. Give offset distance 4 inch. Select this line and click. Now see roof slab projection is 6 inch. Now this is 6 inch and this side also 6 inch. Now close both the ends. Close here and close here. Now trim the extra lines. Okay. Now I am going to draw the lintel slab. So give offset. Give offset distance 7 feet. Select this line and click. Now lintel slab thickness is 3 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 3 inch. Select this line and click. Now draw the chaza. So, Excel, press V for vertical, click here, click here. Okay. Now extend these lines towards this charger. EX, enter, select, now extend and extend. Now trim the extra lines. Trim here and trim here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this grill and this window. So Excel, press V, mark this grill and click here for window. Okay. Now here door size is 3 feet 6 inch and 7 feet height. So take a rectangle, click here and click here. Now delete these lines. Now check. This is. 3 feet and 6 inch and this height is 7 feet. Okay. Now this is the window. So window size is 4 feet into 4 feet. So take a rectangle. Go to dimension. 4 feet. Enter. 4 feet. Enter. Now click. Now delete these lines. Now check. This is 4 feet. And Height is also 4 feet. Okay. Now trim here. Now give offset. Give offset distance 2 inch. Select. Click to inside. Now draw a line on midpoint. Now give offset of 1 inch to each side. Click to this side. Click to this side. Now delete the middle line. 
can do same thing here give offset up to inch to inner side now draw a line on midpoint now give offset of 1 inch to both the sides to this side and click to this side now delete the middle line now this is the window now we are going to draw the charger this is the charger to so excel click here click here now give offset of 1 feet from this line select click now draw a rectangle first point here and second point here now delete the extra lines ok now trim the extra lines trim here trim these lines ok now this is the window and this is the door Now give offset, give offset distance, 1 feet and 6 inch, select this line, click, this is the varanda slope, now click to this side, 1 feet and 6 inch, ok. Now extend this line towards this, now draw a line, this is 6 inch, close this with this, ok. Now do same thing here, 6 inch, now close this. Now delete the extra lines, trim this, delete this, now trim here, ok this is the varanda slope, now I will hatch this, this is, I will take uh, earth, earth, ok click here, ok, now check this line mark this now we will draw the parapet wall so give offset give offset distance 2 feet and 6 inch select this line and click now trim this line now give offset sorry extend this line towards this ok now trim this trim this line ok now give offset give offset distance 3 inch select click select click and select click now fillet this and fillet this side now trim the extra lines trim here and trim here ok now I will hatch this hatch and to box hatch click ok now this is the ground floor elevation so trim this this is the window this is the grill so I need to hatch this this is not the door this is the grill hatch change the scale 5 ok now it looks like a grill ok so this is the ground floor elevation 3 ok now I will make first floor elevation so draw a line here ok now copy this specify the point here this is the base point now click here ok now 
click here this is the second floor no this is the first floor so as there is the parapet we can see this much so delete this we need to trim this so trim we can uh, um, due to the parapet we can see this much length from front side so we need to trim this Hatch this again, delete this, do match properties, okay. Now copy this again for the second floor. This is the, uh, we'll take the best point. Uh, here this point and click here okay now this is the second floor delete this delete this line now see We need to extend this parapet towards this. So draw a line here. Now extend these lines. Delete this. Now give offset. Give offset distance 3 inch. Select this. Click. Now extend this line towards this. Now trim the extra lines. Now hatch this again. And then do match properties. Okay. So this is the parapet. Now we'll draw the staircase room. So take Excel, press V for vertical, click here and click here. Now give offset, give offset distance 7 feet from roof, select, click. Now give offset, give offset distance 4 inch. Now give offset, give offset distance 6 inch, projection, click. Now close this side and here trim the extra lines delete this line now trim these lines okay now trim here and trim this line okay so this is the multi storied front elevation. Front elevation.
so next i'll give sectional elevation of this building now if you like this video then please subscribe the channel thank you for watching